welcome back to another TS Terra video. Today I want to cover a new item that Terra has added in the past month called Stigmas. Currently there are four different types of Stigmas. Kefal, Brachium, Skelos, and Soma. Now I'd like to point out that every boss is weak to a different type of Stigma. If you'd like to check that all you have to do is go to instance matchmaking, press the back button, and you can check every boss's stigma weakness. If you're wondering how to obtain a stigma, what you have to do is you can either kill BAMs or complete dungeons. These two options will give you a chance of getting a white stigma. Dungeons also have a chance of dropping you a stigma chest. Stigma chests can give you a chance of getting a white, green, or blue rarity. You can also buy stigma chests from the Terra store and the Mila shop. Now, if you're wondering how to enchant your stigmas, you're gonna need stigma shards for this. The way you get stigma shards is either A, by dismantling currently owned stigmas, B, completing dungeons or killing bams, or C, completing any Guardian Legion or Bounty Hunter missions. When you dismantle a stigma, the rarity of that stigma will determine on how many shards you will get per dismantle. Next, go to your shards and click on it to open up the stigma shard shop. Inside the shop, you'll see all the feedstock that you need to enchant your stigmas. Stigmas can be enchanted all the way up to plus 5. Once your stigma is at a plus 5, you can finally upgrade it to the next rarity of stigma. Now, as you most likely noticed in my video, you see that I fail a lot of the enchants on the stigma enchanting. Do you know, there is a positive to this, at least not for enchanting, but in upgrading, it is a 100% chance to upgrade. So even though you'll fail your enchants, don't let it put you off from enchanting your stigmas because at least the upgrade is a 100% chance. To upgrade a stigma to the next rarity, you will need another stigma of at least the same rarity and at plus 5 to sacrifice it to get the next rarity. The stigma type or element, whatever you want to call it, does not matter. Attack, soul, defense also does not matter to upgrade. They both have to just be the same rarity and both be plus 5. Now, one thing you might notice inside the shop that I haven't covered yet is the Stigma Stat Change Changer. What this does is it allows you to change the stat of any current Stigma. This stone will allow you to change the stats of your Stigma, but every time you change it, it will randomize. Along with any time you upgrade your Stigma, it's going to randomize the rolls. So... If you do not like your rolls for a blue stigma, you can buy a rare stat stone changer to try and get better rolls. Just beware that you might get worse rolls and then you'll have to buy another one until you get rolls you are okay with. Now I know I haven't gone over exactly what rolls belong to what stigmas. That's because I have actually downloaded the chart from Terra's patch notes and have implemented that into this video. So I'll let you now take a few moments to look at this chart and see what roles you want so you can see what stigmas fit your build best. To point out a few good ones, attack stigmas, Q 
can give you back damage and increased damage when monsters enraged, along with increased damage overall. Defense stigmas, the big one tanks might want, is increased damage to target who has most aggro. If you want soul stigmas, you're probably looking for the cooldown roll. But of course, this can always change depending what you're doing. If you decide you want a PvP, there's even some really cool PvP rules that you can look into. And thus covers everything for the basics about stigmas. Hope you enjoyed, see you around gamer.